Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on Oblivion Builds. Today we're going to be talking about the Goblin Builds, so if you wanted to play as a Goblin class in Oblivion, which, I mean, it's something that's been in the back of my mind for a while, but <clears throat> I just now decided to do it. So to get started, you're going to pick a Wood Elf because, well, it's short. Wood Elves are short, and that's pretty much, you know, some of the stats they get help with the Elf Build. Then you're going to rock Agility and Speed as your two attributes. And then you're going to use the Thief Sign. So really, it's kind of like stealth-based stats over here. And then for your seven skills, you're going to use Sneak, Security, Hand-to-Hand, -hand, Athletics, Marksman, Blade, and Blunt. So, you know, when you think of a Goblin, the Goblins don't really have weapon classes per se. Like, to me, I feel like a Goblin is a scavenger and... They use whatever weapons they find on the battlefield. So, if you're a goblin just wandering around, you're going to use your hands until you find, like, a random sword or a random axe or, like, a tree branch or something, I don't know, or a bow. So you got to be able to use all of the weapons. You might not be very good at them at first, but I don't know. I don't know how this build would work. Um, and I picked athletics because, to me, if the game had, like, a skill related to surviving in the environment... Which I think would be kind of cool. Athletics is part of that. And goblins never even run out of fatigue. Like, they never... At least to me, it seems like they always can chase you down really fast and just kill you and just keep smacking you. So, honestly, athletics, that's kind of where I stand with athletics. Sneak, I put in because goblins can be sneaky. You know, they're very tiny. And security because they always hold lockpicks. Now, I already kind of revealed how you're going to play this character. You're going to use whatever gear you can find. If you really want to play as a, I guess you could say, real top-notch goblin, don't repair anything. Just straight up, you're not allowed to repair anything. Um, you can't pay for repairs. You can't make any money that way. You have to just use what you can find. And, you know, that goes for everything. Lockpicks, weapons, arrows... Even armor, if you want to use armor, if you really wanted to play this like a goblin. Also, um, with, with it, when, it, when it comes to the lockpick situation, you, you ain't allowed to buy lockpicks. You got to find all your lockpicks and no skeleton key. Play without the skeleton key. I think it would make it for a really intense game. But the strengths of this character is actually in the stealth skills. You know, wood elves are really fast, and with that speed buff, you're gonna have a fast wood elf. If you swap the thief sign with the steed you would have a super fast wood elf already. So it would totally be viable to swap the thief sign with the steed sign to make an even faster character. And the agility is there. I believe agility helps with fatigue. I never know. All I know is it helps you stand up, like honestly. But yeah, that's really it for this build. It's very simple. Um, basically, it's a build meant to be played without using any repair hammers or magic for that matter. There's no magic in this build like whatsoever. Your magic bar will never be used. So that's really it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or Steam it post of whatever I decide to make.